Good evening to all. It was asked me to to do just to say hello to you. I I had the chance to see the the video, uh, the documentary you did. It was very well done. I thank you to everybody who did uh, this video, hoping that uh, it will uh, help many young people to understand uh, Carlos' message that uh, at the very end is the message of Jesus, uh, to love Jesus overall, like Carlos did in his life, and uh, to, to put uh, the presence of God, uh, especially in the Eucharist, at the center of, of, of the day of Carlo. Huh? Because Carlo, since he was seven years old, he, he decided to, to go to Mass each day and to do Eucharistic adoration each day and to pray the Rosary each day. Then he used also to pray with the Psalms and the Holy Scriptures. So, uh, very simple life, like uh, the life of every young people of this uh, century, but with at the center Jesus, that uh, he loved overall, really. And uh, I know that uh, all of you are, uh, are very fond of Carlo and uh, try to imitate uh, the, the, the example of Carlo, but uh, uh, you have to think that uh, all are born originals, like Carlo used to say, but many die as photocopies. So it's very important for you to understand that uh, since uh, the eternity God had for every one of us a special project of sanctity, each one of us is called to become saint. So it's not something that uh, is uh, only for Carlo Cutis or Father Pio or Saint Joe Paul II. I mean, it's for every every Christian, eh? every one of us is called to a special mission, a special project from God. So Carlo used the sacraments as, as help, and he used to say that the Eucharist is 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 highway to heaven. So. I, 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 um, Carlo had a very simple spiritual path, very simple spiritual life uh, based on sacraments. And uh, this is very easy to imitate. And uh, the sacraments are for every one of us. For this he did especially a Eucharistic, uh, Eucharistic uh, exhibition, a miracle exhibition uh, in which he um, he display, um, the, the exhibition displays between the most important uh, Eucharistic miracles that happened all over the century, and uh, spe especially also the one uh, of this century, like uh, the one of Buenos Aires, where the, the host transforming chair, and, uh, um, and the Pope Francis was uh, archbishop or the one uh, in 1996, or the one uh, in 2006, in Tixla, Mexico, where uh, also in this miracle, the host became a chair. And then there was one uh, in 2008, in Sokolka, in Poland. Also in this miracle, it happened the same things, also in Lenica. Uh, this, the, uh, there was another Eucharistic miracle in 2013. So that means that Jesus is performing Eucharistic miracle to, to, to make us understand that the most important thing is to put the Eucharist, which is the real presence of God in this world. Jesus promised that I will be with you all the, all, all the time till the, center, till the end of the world. And he maintains is a, is a promise, remaining with us in the sacrament, especially in the Holy Eucharist. Carlo understood this, and his sanctity is, is essentially the Eucharist. He, uh, he really uh, had a special devotion. He knew that through the Eucharist he could change himself, transfigure, he could uh, transform himself, and became what? In the in the in the in the in the, um, in the heart of Jesus already, Carlo was. 
So he really tried to, to do the best to put God at the first place in his life. And uh, through the Eucharist, he really reached this, uh, this goal. So this is what uh, I, I, I will pray for you all, that you will be able all to put this uh, in your life, eh? to put Jesus at the first place. And Carlo is also known for his uh, computer skills. He used the computer to do, to spread the gospel, to spread the devotion to the Eucharist, to the Blessed, to the, to the Virgin Mary, and to, to the most important fruit of our faith, like hell, paradise, purgatory, or the angels, or the existence of the devil. So he did all this exhibition in order to and make people understand that uh, there exists a, a world that is over us, that it will, uh, we, we all are, uh, are called to the infinite, to the eternity, to do, to live another life close to Jesus. The uh, important is to live and to respect his commandments and uh, to, to, to take profit of the sacraments, which are our salvation. And uh, Jesus, uh, the Apostle St. John says to us, said to us through the Gospel, that Jesus is, uh, that God is love. And when we receive uh, uh, the Eucharist, we receive God, the real presence of God in us. And uh, when we receive uh, the Eucharist, we receive the found, the, found, the source of, the, of love. And we know that uh, in order to become saint, the most important commandment is to love uh, God overall and to, lo to love our neighbors. So it's very, uh, the, the Eucharist is our nutrition, our nutrition of, of, so that we will grow in this love for God and for the other people. And uh, so this is the most important thing that will make uh, our sanctity. So please uh, do like Carlo, Try to put Jesus at the first place, to go to Mass each day if it's possible, to do Eucharistic Adoration. Don't miss to pray the Rosary each day. And remember that we all are born originals and many dies as photocopies. So remember that you are called to a special project. You are a special person for Jesus. And you don't have to, uh, to, to lose the opportunity to to, 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 to realize this special project that God sits the eternity I, I, I has for you. So I will recommend um, you in my prayers to, to Jesus. To, I will ask Carlo to intercede for, for your sanctity, for all your, what you have in your hearts. And we all are united in our prayers. And please do also a prayer for, for me for the canonization of Carlo and for, for all the, 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 the people that uh, ask prayers for Carlo. God bless you and uh, let's hope that we will be able to see each other in future uh, in presence. Bye, bye bye. <laughs>